Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, you know, in the past few months, you might have wondered what has happened to Recall, the famous feature for Windows that takes snapshots of system, um, you know, apps and some other um, um, features and other information so that you can search for it. Um, it will you know, be able to analyze pictures, know what you're searching for. Um, a powerful feature that is available only on Copilot Plus PCs. And um, we have not heard of the recall feature in a while now. And what happened is, first version, of course, there was a lot of criticism about its um, privacy, its security, and the way it handled all of it. Microsoft went back to the drawing board and decided to go and take a look and how it would make it better. It released a much better version, which definitely was better. One of the main key features that people wanted is opt-in, not opt-out, meaning you didn't want to have that feature on by default. You wanted to go in that feature if you wanted to be using it. And they actually address that, and it's an opt-in. Also, they have addressed, and they had addressed, the fact that it's easy to uninstall. So they um, still had some criticism and some things going on, so they went back again and continued working on it. Now it's back. For those of you that are um, on Copilot Plus PCs uh, type machines that have, uh, of course, a NPU, um, most of you are probably on ARM, but um, also now it's starting to get through on Intel and AMD uh, computers that have NPUs. They have reintroduced Recall again on the insider rings, and so um, more privacy, more um, features tweaked the way that users want it to be. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens. So opt-in is uh, um, something you need to do, which means if you do have a machine that is compatible, you will need to say you want to use Recall in order for it to work. Once you opt in, it will require you to use Windows Hello, so some form of security to get in, like fingerprint or face recognition, things like that. And it will also uh, be much more... Uh, private in and its security and uh, encryption of the uh, snapshots that it will take and for you to work. And of course, they have repeated that none of the data is sent to Microsoft. It's all happening in your machine and only inside your machine. So we'll see what the uh, next step is and how people react to the latest version. Um, one thing for sure, I think this could be a very interesting feature for uh, people that work on their PC a lot and are constantly searching for, you know, files and conversations they had or emails and stuff. Uh, definitely uh, as a good promise of helping out there. Uh, but we'll see what happens and if it gets, you know, uh, a good positive review by viewers, by users, actually. Uh, in the next few weeks. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.